is Andrew, and I am the creator of Marimo. So Marimo was created in 2005 of May, which makes him about now six years old. And he was my most original character I ever had. Even though now today he kind of looks like me. He kind of evolved into me. So as you can see from the sketch here, Marimo had a very loose, sketchy look to him. And that was also my style back then in public school, so what can you expect? So this character meant a lot to me. And so I wanted to make a comic for him and make him huge. So the year I was going to graduate from public school, I actually wanted to create an animation with my character or something else that would have been big just for my school and for my graduating year. Unfortunately, I only got three frames of it done. I thought it would be easy, and that's when I started to realize it's not. So just to explain a little bit more about the Mario history and the characters behind it, like the side characters, let's just say they weren't original. They were very heavily influenced by Archie's comics. We have Anna Saloon, who looked totally like Veronica Lodge. We have a weird name here, we got Danny Flamingo, who looks like Richie from the comics. We have Josh Jones, and as you can tell, the Jones part is totally from Jughead Jones. Another name that's weird, Claire's Disappointment. <coughs> she was actually uh, from the character Betty from the comics. So as you can tell, characters not so original, Murray Moe was like pretty much the only original one out of the whole pack. So you can tell why I really adored him most than any other ones. So after graduation and summer came, I started working more digitally. So I started doing some portraits of my characters digitally and I also had an idea of doing a game. Didn't work so well. At least the game part didn't. The portraits were okay for a person who was only using a mouse and was first time working digitally and was using paint. Uh, paint is just not my program anymore. <laughs> However, even though my digital attempts failed back then, it actually kind of made Mari Mo more stable and looked actually a little bit more cartoony. When I started doing Mari Mo at the beginning, I tried to make him like cartoony but realistic. I don't know how that was why why that would work and why I even thought I should do that. But if you look at the ear, it's like trying to make it look like a real ear and uh, uh so the digital phase was actually a good thing so once it hit my birthday which is right near the end of my first term of high school and that was also my first year in high school grade 9 I got a tablet finally and I got a copy of Photoshop Elements so that became a whole new level for Marty Mo. by then Marimo had a very slimmer look. Finally, when the next summer came, I started using the new program called Corel Draw, which I thought it would be perfect because then all I do is just draw the characters once, and then all I do is like, oh, just move the arms, you know, stuff like that. And yeah, Marimo looked really good in that, but it just kind of felt a little lazy, and I noticed once I had to try and animate arms in really awkward positions and turn around and stuff like that. It just didn't work. So as you can see behind these images behind me, it just was not gonna work. But it was a great attempt and Mari Mo actually had a nice look finally by then. Unfortunately by grade 10, Mari Mo was already changing his look into something new. So in 2005 and early 2006, I was doing some art contests around my school and I did a different look for that. So this new Murray look kind of came from that, but it was actually still quite different from me. The good thing about this whole new style was that it brought more original characters, even though most of them were my friends. <laughs> they were a lot more original, they weren't copies from other comic books or TV shows or whatever. They were original and friends. Let's just keep it to that. <laughs> so you got an original character such as Amanda Butkus Larsons. I did not name the middle name of that character. It was one of my friends. Uh, but I totally don't use that middle name anymore. 
but I could. So we have another original character, Ashley Thompson. And then finally, even though I know the last name is totally like Jughead Jones, we have Josh Jones, who got a new updated look and looks a lot less like Jughead Jones. So I thought Jones was still fine to keep because obviously there's going to be people with names, last names such as Jones. So those were a lot of the characters that you saw in my comic kind of form and stuff. But I also did a lot of my real friends in cartoon form when I moved to my new school. Because the characters in my comic form were actually original friends where I looked before I moved. And then you have the collection of my original characters that just came from my own brain, not friends or anything. And that would be Kim. Then we also have Laird. He was a bully and a super evil genius type thing. And also his partners in crime were Elizabeth and Mac. So things were looking pretty bright for Marty Moe. So in early 2007, I was already looking for colleges. Yeah, I was kind of looking at early already. I think I was one of the few from what I can remember. So the college I visit was the Arts Institute of Toronto because I was looking for animation courses because I was really interested in animation. I still am. And I was talking to this animation person. I actually don't know if he was a teacher or he was just like a demonstrator of what the course was like. In any cases, he looked at my drawings and I found out my character was a little stiff. He's not, he doesn't really have fluidness of a body. So that was something that got fixed because of that. And also a little tidbit that was that you may be interested to know or just there. When I talked to this person, he was the one that led me to Sheridan College, which is now where I am right now. Aiming to still get to animation. But I'll get in there someday. So when I changed the form of Mario Mole in 2007, obviously Mario Mole changed even more. Only thing was he looked a lot more rounder and pudgier. Didn't notice it back then, I guess, but I definitely see it now. So by 2008, Mario Mo is starting to look what we see this present year, in 2011. By 2008, I started trying to figure out shapes that would actually work for our body, like a realistic kind of looking one, or at least proportionate. I obviously also did some changes to the face. In 2009, you really don't notice a huge difference at oh some slight ones but Mario Mosa looks pretty much what he did in 2008 but probably just looks a little bit nicer and the hair started getting like a little bit more simpler and spikier like it did in the past. Now we're just a year away from 2011 Mario Mo. By 2010 Mario Mo gained the white eyes again and he gained a cool little hat that looks just like mine for some reason. Wonder why. 2010 Mario Mo is by far my favorite one so far just because I I did so much artwork with him that year and I really liked how he was starting to turn out that time around that time I was really starting to like how he turned out around that time so now it leads us to our present day Mario Mo which is in 2011 and obviously these are probably gonna look familiar unless you're new to me then hello these are my 2011 Mario Mo artworks. Check out the rest of my channel. I didn't advertise there. So, that is Mario Mo's history, how his look changed, how he got created, kind of, and just how he became what he looks like now today. Uh, I'm still hoping that sometime in the future, Mario Mo will have his own animation. But for now, I have this to show. Let's watch. I know it took a long time. I was playing with a lot of different effects. I was trying to figure out how I was going to show a lot of images without like distracting from anything. I also wanted to see if I could try and make a fancy intro. And, you know, that animation thing, well, yeah, that took about, like, three or four days to do. Yeah, uh, that was pretty crazy. 
part that took the longest was trying to make the animation smoother and definitely coloring it. <laughs> so I hope it was all worth the wait and I should be back to uploading some regular art videos and hopefully have things planned out good. So if you're new to me, you just learned about my character now and a little bit about me. And if you're interested now in my stuff, you can subscribe, maybe like this video also. And remember to check out my Facebook, my Twitter, which are connected together. So you can go to either one, but both is great. And there's my Divine Art, so you can check out some of some of my past artwork there and future artwork to come. Till then, I'll catch you viewers later.